Hi guys, welcome to another weekly exclusive tournament on FunBridge. Uh, every week I'm organizing two tournaments, one in imps and one in match points. Uh, right now you will be watching the match point tournament, so I hope that you have played it too, so you can compare uh, how I play and how you played, and uh, hopefully that you will beat me. Uh, the other imp tournament I'm streaming live every Thursday 6.30 on my YouTube channel. Uh, when you just search for Milan Matsura, uh, you will find it very easily. This video will be every week on Funbridge YouTube channel, so when you want to uh, watch both of these and have notifications, just subscribe and we will see each other every week, hopefully uh, at a good bridge. So let's have a look uh, what are the current winners. Uh, if you want to search for the tournament, you just go under exclusive, view all tournaments and then just search uh, for some of these uh, names. So uh, tonight, today we are going to play match points. So far 261 players uh, played. Uh, that's... Uh, a little bit a little bit less uh, than the previous well probably quite a lot less but the same as the first time and you can see that 233 already make the tournament favorite and i believe that most of those uh, players already uh, played this tournament okay so for the leaders we have tarun here uh, with impressive 85 percent on eight boards uh, this guy is from India. He's amazing winning the first match points winning the first imp tournament uh, Did really well in the both second uh, rounds scoring in the top uh, top 20 and Again, he is at the top by a margin uh, Then we have Ivan here from Croatia with 81% another impressive uh, score and we have Steven from Belgium uh, with 75%. So these three guys are reaching the top almost every time they are there. Uh, for another, we have uh, still a couple of results here over 65%, which is always like my goal to score 65. And if I do, uh, if I'm a bit lucky, I will do a bit better. If I'm a bit unlucky, I will probably do a bit worse. But this is always my goal. So in the top 10 from my friends, we still have uh, Klaus here from Denmark. And then if we just uh, scroll a bit further, do we have anyone? Uh, okay, we have Martin here from Slovakia. He's playing for the national junior team. Alice and Neo from France, uh, around 60%. Uh, fall, uh, not that familiar. Then here we have uh, the Eichelm, uh, I forgot, I'm really sorry, Andre, Andre from Switzerland, who played a challenge against me last week. Uh, if you like to challenge me only on first day and only if you manage to finish the boards, uh, till around 7 p.m. so I can broadcast it live and you can watch me playing it at the same time and we can discuss. Okay, so let's go. This is the match points. We can talk about the imps in the evening. So on the first board, partner opens one club and we have a great hand uh, of 16 high current points but 6-4 and only 4 loser hands. So this is really incredible. Uh, hand and I'm immediately thinking about the slam. I just need partner to cover me free of those four honors So how to figure that? The best way if I bid here one diamond Maybe partner might bid one heart if he has four hearts if he doesn't then I know he doesn't have them so then I can uh, then I need to show a slam going hand with diamonds, which will be kind of difficult. But to be honest, I don't have really good experience by jumping to two diamonds. Uh, okay, now we will have the pop up there, which shows uh, at least 18 points, game forcing bid and six diamonds, which actually kind of I have. 
Um, but the structure after that, Arjun is not really good uh, in coping with that. Still, I'm not sure how I will bid over one diamond. So I'm trying the two diamonds, forcing to game. Partner bids two no trumps, uh, which should be a weak no trump. So I'm bidding three hearts, hopefully as a second suit. And partner bids four clubs cubit. And this is actually pretty good for me. So we have the stopper in clubs. So I bid four diamonds. Let's see if he bids four hearts. Come on. Okay, four spades cubit. This is match points, so if I actually fail to find two aces in my partner's hand, um, then I would like to play no trumps. Um, since partner doesn't have the king of hearts, uh, it's pretty bad for me because now suddenly I need to get rid of the hearts. The jack of hearts will help significantly because then I might finesse the hearts. If he has like ace king in clubs, ace of spades, uh, or ace king in spades, ace of clubs, might be still good enough. So I ask for the key cards. If partner has one only, now now we are we are in a trouble because I know we are missing one ace. I know we are missing the king of hearts. So here I would uh, turn on the pop ups because I would like to stop in five no trumps. Five diamonds will be a disaster score. So if I bid five spades, I believe here, uh, non-forcing bid, this is a Nash, what? Okay, five no trumps. This is a Blackwood bid asking for kings. So am I screwed? If partner holds the queen of trumps. Well, if he doesn't, he just bids um, six diamonds here, I believe. So why isn't five spades in here just bid five no like zero cards at most okay so the description in here is not really helpful so i guess i have to make a decision to bid either five diamonds or six diamonds um yeah i believe that you guys will be just bidding uh, into three no trumps so then my five diamonds making will be a disaster score. So I have to gamble and hopefully get lucky that the hard finesse is on. I don't see any other escape f from this one to not to score bad. Maybe there might be a squeeze or, or something. But why is partner... Okay, partner is getting us into six no. So hopefully he might have like five good clubs. Then like six no will be great if he has like five good clubs. If not, hopefully like ace queen ten or ace king queen that would be awesome. Okay, Barn has the jack of hearts fourth. Um, that's both good and bad. The thing is that people will now if they bid just one heart they will find the hard fit. Uh, then they will stop in five hearts. If the hard finesse is on. Uh, then they will make six hearts, but they will not bid it, so that's fine. And if the heart king is on, I'm making six no trumps. So let's hope it is, because I don't have another chance. Uh, maybe if the queen of clubs is on, but I have only one, I have only two discards, so I need to uh, try four... Uh, for the hard king. So I play the jack because I need to keep the communication to repeat the finesse several times. I'm discarding the 10 here to keep the 9 and the king is off so I'm going down. Uh, too bad, too bad. So this was a 50-50 chance and 6 diamonds it will be the same so 6 no trumps is definitely better. Um, I'm just cashing this one, uh, that one is good, so just in case that diamonds break 5-0, but probably they don't, so I'm going one down, so everybody who plays a slam will go one down, i guessing 10% score for this one, yeah, 
a little bit higher so you can see that four hearts five hearts that's the goal 10 people uh, had the same score as i did no one uh, finished in diamonds uh, like in the bigger number so what did you co comment i play six hearts as arjun does same bidding same playing cards same result for 10 percent uh should be a 50 no no it shouldn't uh because well we are missing two key cards so guys uh this is where if you manage to ask for the key card people will stop in five hearts uh because they don't want to play a 50 50 slam and they don't know about the jack of hearts so probably the slam will be a little bit worse and if you bid one heart it's even worse because there can be a club lead through so probably better and deserved to have a better score for just um just a game but free no trumps will actually score a hundred or close to hundred if you make 11 tricks um okay so 14 high card points five for distribution two for six losers so uh, this hand should be good enough to go on the third level if we have a fit okay and well they went to four spades and i have three tricks and my, my partner raised so uh, because i have six losers to make five hearts i need partner to cover me four and this is the high level thinking uh if you overbid or not so if partner covers you four losers well four spades will go down probably a lot so yes he might have like uh king of hearts fifth so suddenly he's covering two losers but still in clubs and diamonds we need only honors so i'm going to double this one because five hearts is most likely going down partner like why okay this is what i don't understand why partner already showed the hand by bidding four hearts and i decided to double uh i can't imagine a hand okay king of hearts fifth and uh ace of spades fifth or queen jack and i don't understand this one it definitely has to be a really distributional hand okay show me and it's nothing <laughs> it's nothing Okay, but the, why to bid four hearts with uh, like zero tricks? North has zero tricks because the queen of hearts with a 10 card fit is completely useless. Oh god, we're vulnerable. This is a disaster. But I guess that most people will be in it. East opened. Uh, there was the a king of clubs there so already five points so i think that uh the king of hearts is with east so i probably um, have to try to get to the dummy cashing the king of spades unblocking the suit and try to escape with the club maybe something good happens probably not they just win and play a club yeah Ah, disaster. Yeah, well, I'm going to down because either I finesse the hearts. So the only thing how I can actually go only one down that the singleton heart king drops. Then I have the entry and can lose only one diamond. Yeah, it didn't. So I'm going two off. Maybe free if I miss guess diamonds. Yeah, okay. So no miss guess. I will play the diamond to the king anyway because the points were shown in east hand. Uh, but that's it. Really stupid 500. And uh, you see that uh, four spades is going down. So doubling four spades for a hundred will be a top score. Guys. 100 will be a top score how is that possible so see all contracts is there anyone who actually left it in there four spades double okay two people so let's see how the bidding went 
one spade you pass with this hand okay well that's probably not wise and then you double four spades and partner passes okay and the other one the same score okay um yeah how about these guys how can you manage okay you bid two hearts four hearts and then you don't double four spades but partner bid vulnerable game guys when partner bid vulnerable game and you have three sure tricks potential fourth opponents are sacrificing because you have the game and uh, this one i think i need to report uh i need to report because the four hearts bid uh it's it's just it's just nonsense okay so if you want to send a feedback to the programmers this is the way how you do it um, that's the only way where we can complain or we can complain to each other um, okay six hearts seven points only uh, three six eight losers we're non-vulnerable so I would like to put a bit pressure in here opening two hearts uh, yes, it's weaker, but we're non-vulnerable and they are so Yeah, after two no trumps free spades two no trumps is asking for extra. I'm just passing Four hearts. Uh, so let's see if partner is strong enough. Suddenly my spade singleton is a great value If partner has no value partner has a singleton too Wow Okay, so this is a completely different thing now we are losing one spade, hopefully only one heart, and probably one club if they switch to them immediately. Okay, they do. I have to duck uh, and hope that they will not rough it. Okay, so, so far I think this should be good. Um, I want to, like, rough with this one because I don't have uh, a good entry maybe with the diamond I might get an entry I don't want to risk that actually if heart split 4-1 four, four then this will be really miss unfortunate uh, the third board's trade okay so this is uh, this is going fine uh, they have only one trump left, so I can try to establish the diamonds. If they rough, I have the entry with the ace of clubs. And diamond split 3-1, so I'm fine. Losing just the one heart. If they don't switch into clubs, I will discard both of my clubs. So they did, they did well. But that's it, four hearts should score well, because people might not open with my hand, and then we will never reach four hearts. Okay, 80%, so 87 people uh, reached it here. Uh, anyone? Okay, lie. Top score. Top score. What is the top score in here? Something doubled. Six diamonds. Wow. Okay, two people reached six diamonds. So let's see the players who, who were there. So it was Klaus and Young. So I did, uh, I did quite, quite well in here. But Klaus and Young. So how did you... Wait. Uh, how did you bid into six diamonds? Uh, one diamond north. So you passed. One spade and you bid two hearts. Okay, I understand. Partner bid two free hearts. And after four spades, you bid five diamonds to sacrifice. I understand that. And partner raised it to six diamonds. Oh, well, yeah, actually, not kind of like a bad idea. Because you know that you have a diamond fit. You have a big heart fit. You have the king of hearts, singleton spade. So you hope that you discard all your clubs on the hearts. But actually, can you do that? Uh, four and you, are, you rough one. 
And you are left with three winners, so you discard three clubs. Okay. Well done. Reasonable bidding. So this was not just gambling. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. One heart. And we have game points. So I recently changed the setup uh, here on Farmbridge. I put a free profile um, because uh, then I didn't have like an option that two no trumps and three hearts was uh, kind of the same hand in here. Uh, now I put that two no trumps is forcing to game. So this is like 11 to 15 uh, high card points and more or less balanced without, without a singleton. Exactly three card. So this is what I'm going to bid. If partner bids on third level, it should be a shortness. Uh, this time partner has a minimum, so I'm happy. I'm happy with that. So I stop the pop-ups. Um, partner really has the minimum two, four, six, it's kind of seven losers. So we are losing one spade, uh, one diamond loser in the north hand. Uh, guys, always think what are the losers in the longer side of trumps. So the diamond is a loser, but we need to figure out how to get rid of it. And that's establishing the spade winner in the dummy to dump uh, the diamond loser. And in clubs, um, we just play the finesse. And if the nine drops or if they are free free, we might not have a loser in clubs. <laughs> Okay, so we just try to cash the trumps. Uh, they split bad, which is not actually a great thing for us. Still, I want to draw all the trumps. Um, if when we lose the trick to the ace of spades, they will play a diamond. Uh, we discard the diamond and play the queen of clubs. And if that loses, then we might be short because uh, opponents will shorten us with the last trump and then our suit might be blocked. So um, still I don't have entries. So I have to draw all the trumps before. We have the three of spades there, uh, three of clubs. So that's good that they discarded the club. Uh, I might keep the spade here because maybe the fourth card might be established if the 10-9 drops or if this guy just had to discard something. I don't think that he discards uh, from a four card. I believe that uh, he has five originally and he's playing the club. So that's fine for us. We have to play the finesse anyway. So now we can repeat it. And that guy discarded. Yeah, that guy discarded one club. So we are good. Claiming 12 tricks because on two spade winners we discard the diamond. Okay, good score. 70, 87%. Okay. What is the top score? Not even three no trumps is the top score. Oh, guys. What? What can you do in here? What can you do? Tell me. Okay. Isabel played in two spades. And we have Tarun here. Uh, well, quite a lot of you guys here. Jay-Z, uh, Shamin, JM all played three no. Uh, Eric... Okay, so that's why you score that much, to score 96% on that one. But how to get to two spades? Well, how to double opponents in two spades? So one heart, pass, and you bid only two hearts. With a forcing to game bid. Okay, so then uh, West thinks that suddenly with his 11 points, he has nuts. And then you double and your partner passes. So this is a really strange bidding, which normally will definitely not work. So let's see uh, how the free no trumps is reached. So did you do you bid free no immediately? Yeah. 
Okay, so that's another thing. I think I have three now with a folk outfit and like 11, 15 hand. So uh, I don't know if I will bid it, if partner will pass me three no trumps. Yeah, and because of my setup, I don't have that possibility to play, play free no here. So I couldn't get the top score on this one. But I'm happy with my 60, uh, sorry, 87%. Because most of you didn't make 12 tricks. Probably didn't draw the trumps. And got, got the spade draft or something. So one club, 11 high card points, invitational hand with 4-4. But if we have a fit uh, because of the singleton club and kind of good values, uh, I will go to a game immediately. But partner is repeating clubs. That means that he either have six clubs or five clubs and four diamonds. So we don't have a major fit. In that case, we're playing no trumps and I have only the invitation hand. Okay, so now partner bids three hearts, which should be a minimum hand. A minimum hand. Now, well, it can't be a minimum hand because otherwise he will bid two no trumps or bid three clubs. So it should be extra with three hearts. And not actually, It's a question what to play. Because maybe four hearts on a 4 free fit where I kind of can cross rough because of the jack 10 9. I might score if partner has like four cards, four cards in spades and diamonds. I cover three of them. So we might lose only one trick in that suit and we can afford to lose two extra tricks. So both we can try to draw trumps established clubs if we get an entry uh, we can try to cross trap so three tricks four in clubs so we need to score six hard tricks so if i manage to get two trumps uh, i need a bit more i need a bit more but i'm i'm afraid of three no trumps i'm trying four hearts i'm going to push in here Playing on a 4 free fit. Okay, partner has relatively good clubs, but we are missing the trick with an ace. We are missing the uh, spade trick. And, well, we are missing also some hard tricks. So this is not, like, great. I don't have entries, so I have to... In order to make... In order to make, I have to lose only one hard trick. So I need to draw trumps. I need to get an entry. They cannot force me with diamonds. Oh, this, this might be impossible, guys. This might be impossible. I can't cross rough now. Because even if clubs split 3-3, free, free, I have two discards. So I might discard two spades, actually. I might get one rough. Because I need to shorten myself. And then I have the Ace of Hearts there. Ah. I don't think I, I can manage to do that. I probably have to play the Jack of Hearts. Hope that Hearts split. Uh, I get an entry with the King of Diamonds or or with Spades. And if they play a Diamond, uh, I have to play a Club. And if they force me to Rough... Mm, wow. This doesn't seem good. Okay, I'm try. I'm hoping for some luck. Okay, covering, that's good. Now I have to establish the clubs. Okay, I guess they, they are winning. But the four of clubs is good because now it seems they split 3-3. Uh, free, free. Okay, so if they draw the trumps... Oh, God! 
Five one. This is a disaster. Five one. If they split four two, I will be I will be fine because I will have an entry. I might run all my clubs. I think I'm cashing that one. Try to cross there because otherwise then he can yeah. I don't need this trump. So I would rather uh cash his one. Cross with the Queen of Spades, and now they force me. They force me with the King of Diamonds. Um, so the question is, if I want to duck it once or not. Uh, this guy had five hearts. Hopefully, three spades. Uh, and if he has three clubs, he has only doubles and diamonds. So then I need to win this one. So we might still go only one down. If he doesn't have like a, if he has a singleton club and he has four diamonds, then I'm I'm screwed bad. Okay. Okay, still fine. So uh, he probably has three spades now. So I'm going to win the king. Okay, so he he's left with a diamond. Well, two down. Not a good score, I guess. But you will have the same issues in three no trumps. Oh, really? Three no trumps is the contract. Because of the heart split that bad, clubs split, you have the stoppers. So this is where I really made the mistake. Not bidding into three no trumps. Wow, the really poor 3%. But, yeah, but why partner bid three hearts here? I don't like that bid. Just bad hearts. Okay, three you no know, trumps is awesome. Club split, you have an entry, so you have five club tricks, uh, two in diamonds, that's seven, one heart is eight, and you score you score a couple of spade tricks. Yeah, so if I decide to bid three no trumps after three hearts, that's the top score, but I thought I can make ten tricks, and it was really close. If hearts behave a bit better and clubs doesn't, then um, I will have a top score. So that was definitely a big risk from my side, which didn't work out, and I have the poorest score here. Okay, so 17 high card points, 5-5, five, five, and 4 loser hand. So another great hand. Okay, so I'm bidding 1 spade. Partner is bidding 2 no trumps, uh, which should show a forcing to game. So now I would like a partner to give me a club qubit because once I know the club qubit, I might ask for the key cards. So again, because this is the first time actually that happens, I believe that if I bid three hearts, that would show a shortness. Uh, no, uh, Arjun is bidding natural, so then I can bid three clubs. Hope of a slam. Definitely I'm hoping for a slam. Four clubs. That's fine. Um, okay, I bid four diamonds as a qubit, so I don't get the lead. This is something where I expect that partner will have the stopper anyways. And this is what I don't like. I wanted, I wanted to ask for key cards. So four no trumps, I have three, so I switched to 1430, so I have to be like five diamonds. Um, but then I have the queen of spades, so do I have three aces? Sorry for those. Okay, so I have to bid five diamonds. That's, that's why partner shouldn't ask for the key cards. He doesn't have the queen. Okay, five hearts. I have the queen. Uh, since partner is asking, he should have both aces. If he, ha well, king of spades and uh, ace there. So, I have good clubs. Hmm. <laughs> If Parton doesn't have like any king in the red suit, then um, and if he has like four clubs, maybe seven clubs will be better. 
because then I can discard the diamonds on two spades. If I bet six clubs, I hold the queen and this shows the king of clubs. Well, partner knows I don't have it, but still I, I decide to bet this. Normally it should show like I have extra six spades only. Yeah. I don't know guys. I don't know. I'm feeling that we are making seven here, but I already showed enough. I overbid my hand and partner still decides. That's why I wanted to ask. Maybe I shouldn't have bid the four diamonds and, and should ask immediately. Okay, but we are missing we are missing the ace of diamonds. We are actually missing ace king of diamonds. So by me Q bidding for diamonds, that was nuts. Because now I can discard both of them. So this should be definitely a top score. The only thing what can happen to me is that spades are 4-1. So that's why before playing the hearts, I want to cash three rounds because I don't care if, they, if I lose a trick, but I don't want to lose two. See, so therefore one, uh, I win with the king. And now if West has two hearts, which he should because I had only four, uh, I dump both my diamonds and losing only one spade. Now I'll just force him to rough with the with the high spade. Yeah, so claiming 12 tricks and this should be a top score. What claim refused? Take your trick, Arjun. Give me a break. Top score! 94 only. There are 29 of you who bid that. Oh, wow. That's many. That's so many. And you still didn't get the diamond lead. Okay, so what are... Uh, hard to know about the two tricks missing and diamond. Um, yeah, well, if I if I bid four hearts after four clubs, uh, then we'll just be playing four spades and opponents will lead the diamonds. The problem is more that if you do find out, you also tell the defense, exactly. Uh, that isn't why you left the tournament, is it? <laughs> uh, the art is finding spade jack, not bidding six spades. Um, yeah, well, true if you are playing just four. Because then you might make all the tricks if they don't lead uh, that. But finding the jack is extremely difficult with the 4-1 distribution. The 9 drops, that's true. But then... Kind of probably a 50-50 there. Initial 9 from Arjun is either stiff or from exactly jack 9. This make is close to 50-50, I agree. The hard lead from, uh, is also suspicious. Okay. Okay, not an easy one uh, there. People were going down from uh, six, that's sure. But let's see what's the distribution. Um, leading from the doubleton jack of diamonds, that's tough. Because the leading from the jack against the slam, it, uh, especially like once you are leading towards a qubit, which is a control, usually a king or an ace. In seven spades, that would be an art to actually make all 13 tricks in seven spades. That would be awesome. Okay, so I'm at 51 with ups and downs. So basically three good scores, three bad scores. I don't like this bridge. I like better than I'm solid and taking like the 60, 70% hands. Um, well, I made mistakes. So this hand, I don't want to open with only bunch of queens, everybody vulnerable. I might have a rebid though, like one diamond, something, two diamonds. 
Uh, if I pass this hand, then I will be forced to bid uh, to third level anyways. But the question is, if I want to... Yeah, first of all, if I want to win the bidding, and second of all, which contract? Because maybe no trumps, like for my side, with all like the short owners will be better. But I'm not feeling that we have enough. Then I need to play in free no, that partner is a strong hand. So then I can pass and wait, wait what will happen. Okay, one club, one spade. Now I can bid two diamonds. Well, I don't have like the terrible hand. Okay, two hearts. Um, definitely don't want to pass in here. I can bid two spades, just a correction. I have a doubleton honor. Uh, doubles in there. I can also bid three diamonds because partner passed it, so we should have some. Maybe better. Maybe better. Doubling is is kind of an option too, but then that would be only if I play with an experienced partner who will evaluate the hand well. Um, Tough, really tough what to bet here. Three diamonds are a thing that will, that should make, but two spades has a better chance to score more and also for making. So let's see. Okay, partner has only two diamonds, that's good. Uh, we have all the good clubs, that's also kind of good. And the hearts is not bad, actually. We might finesse the 10. So, yeah, well, two spades looks pretty good to me. Let's hope that the queen of spades is with West. So I try to force him. Okay, so he played, he played it. Um, now I need to draw trumps. Do I? I might actually also like play the heart towards the queen and if that loses, I can discard a heart on the club and rough the third heart. Well, I don't like it that much because then I need to score all the trumps. The two of spades, um, does that says anything particular? He will have like smaller ones. So spades might split free free, but in that case, I don't know why Arjun would have covered with the queen. Yeah, then I will get overruffed in, uh, in diamonds. So maybe trying the diamond finesse, if it doesn't work, I play the spade. If he jumps, then there will become a diamond promotion. Mm, yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to play for spades free free. Although, okay, so I got the heart, which is good. So now let's pray for spades free free. So I played well. Okay, they split free free. Now this is only about the diamond finesse. So I just played now, not to waste my time and not to waste your time because that's precious. Okay, and that works. So finally I'm making 11 tricks in spades. Wow, so I'm wondering how many people will reach the game. Everything was uh, like well for us. See, so if you played the diamonds before, there will be a promotion. And I get only 40%. Because most of you played... Played... Not just only played in the game, but two hearts went for 400. Four, 42 of you just passed it. Two diamonds pass past two hearts and you passed two hearts. And this guy with 
like again literally nothing vulnerable bits to heart this is uh, this is not right uh, I'm, I'm noticing that Arjun suddenly bits like too aggressive with absolutely no reason because if all ah this is just not right come on this is not right to to like pass two hearts i will understand double i will understand bidding anything i understand free no trumps actually so uh let's see what will be the top score my double of two hearts was pure desperation i had no bid but i can't pass yeah well that's true and double shows values i was happy partner pass yeah well maybe i should have done that too so uh probably jay-z you were the one who scored the top score yeah jay-z tarun uh benicio here everybody who decides to double to hearts scored nuts 400 percent so then I understand why Tarun is scoring 85%, like having a top score almost every board. Yeah, well, you have to you have to learn uh, from your mistakes and from the good plays uh, from your opponents. But not every time there is a good score means that opponents did well. Sometimes it's just a mistake of Arjun. Um, okay, 11 high card points, partner jumped to two hearts, which shows a weak two with six hearts. And here you should be thinking, how many losers do you cover? Um, most likely I cover three, maybe four. So that would be enough, actually, if partner will have like good hearts. The king of spades, that can be a good value it can also be a really bad value because if partner doesn't have the queen or the ace uh, most likely king is not covering the loser on the other hand the singleton club can cover two losers so i might lose one club trick two spade tricks so if partner has like six three two two should be quite fine if uh, something good happens in hearts. So if I bid two no trumps in here, I believe that, that should be like invitation. A hand with hope of playing a game. Yeah, well, that's that's what I like. Okay, three spades, four hearts. Oh God. Does he bid on four spades? Double. Okay, he doubled, but well, it's not that bad. I'm covering those losers. Partner now might be short in spades, but we don't want a spade lead. We want a club lead. Exactly, and now I'm covering all the clubs, see? And the spade I might discard, so come on. This is not bad. Four of clubs lead. So I rough this one. Uh, that's three. So this guy is five four. So I cross to my queen of diamonds. I rough another club. This is a top score. Well, this will happen to more people, I guess. Okay, now if I don't get roughed, I discard one. And if I get roughed now, I don't mind because it's a rough with the king so i can rough another club wow i'm making 12 tricks does he has one more trump oh he does that's a pity that's a pity but anyway 11 tricks this should be uh close to a top score Yeah, just try, but well, don't think that uh, this can succeed. And a seven of hearts at the end as the final card and a good score on the last board. So definitely, uh, only 78. 
Wow. Okay, this bridge I don't understand. I'm making four hearts doubled plus one for seven for six hundred eight ninety. And still I'm only forty eighth. Four diamonds. So why is Arjun bidding into four diamonds? One club west. Two hearts. Pass three hearts. Double. Pass four diamonds. Double. Pass, pass, pass. Oh, this is so crazy. This is so messed up. Fun bridge, you have um, a lot of work to do trying to figure out how East West is bidding. Let's see what what are the top scores because then I will we will not believe what's what scores are there. Fourteen hundred for five clubs doubled. Wow, five diamonds doubled for eleven hundred. Five clubs for eight hundred. So I guess that you just jump to four hearts. David four spades. Five clubs double, and once we uh, start shortening them, they lose. They lose the trump control. So I believe that they are making five club tricks and ace of spades. That's six. Yeah, that's going five down. They might not even make. Well, I need to play the ten of hearts through. Well, it's an, actually a really interesting defense in here. So let's see. Let's replay the board because this one is really interesting. Um, and let's see how we will do in five clubs. So if I bid four hearts here. Okay, I don't want the pop-ups always. So now if we double. Play. Because this is interesting. So Queen of Diamonds. This one we need to overtake with the King. I might cash one more. Pardon discarding the Spade. So now I need to play the Hearts through. Because if I play another one, he roughs. Pardon over roughs. Uh, no good. So we cash the Hearts. Well, only if he plays the Heart back. So this is not actually good. This is not good. Okay, so this is not the proper, it's not the proper defense. I had to play the Jack of Diamonds. Yeah, now he will score uh, all his space because he has still one extra trump. Okay, so restart card play actually really interesting what to do oh oh whoa, 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 whoa. okay so this one we don't want to restart uh, wall deal once again i hope guys that you are interested in here how to beat five clubs that many times because i am this will be definitely the board i i will describe uh in my article there so i'll focus it a bit more there but also on here, so you win with the king, you win the ace, partner discards a spade, you continue playing this one, partner rough, okay, now he tries to draw trumps, yeah, and this is where he goes uh, wrong. Draw the trumps, and now partner has the 10 and they have only the 9. So, okay, discarding a heart, that's actually really smart. So now the spade, I'm winning with the king, and now I play the heart through. Great play. Great play by North, finally. Well, okay, partner, catch the trump. Yeah, well, now he claims. So this is where I could have scored uh, 1100 for 99%. Uh, not an easy one. 
But yeah, probably a good play to play three rounds of diamonds, but definitely Arjun could prevent that by discarding a heart on the diamond. And if I play another diamond, he discards another heart. Uh, otherwise, he's actually not losing that many tricks. So, also a mistake from, uh, from West. Not discarding a heart, which is a loser. So always, when you have this situation, dump a loser on a loser. Okay, so this is it. What is my final score? 53% only. So once again, let's have a look where all my friends, uh, Amanda in here, my students uh, beat me with 12%. So let's have a look. So once again, once again from the top, Tarun, Shaimin, Picarek, Vodka, Alice, Neo. Uh, where do we have some Czech guys? Uh, Zuska, a young lady playing, uh, played in the World's Paris Junior Championships this summer, 54. Uh, Trier and Benishir, Rudy Rock, and so on and so on. Gabriel, another uh, student of mine. So see that the approach is uh, what I'm kind of teaching. So like the good solid bridge didn't work this time because opponents are just bidding crazy. Okay, so we have all of you here. I'm really grateful uh, that you are playing uh, these tournaments. I'm having a lot of fun. Looking forward uh, for the live stream in the evening. Uh, hopefully that the imps I will do I will do a bit better. So thank you guys and take care.